Hey friends, Aaron here. After a long, successful brew day, uh, we have the wort here and it's ready to aerate it. So if you don't know much about aeration, pretty much yeast that you use in your beer making, um, they need oxygen in order to survive and thrive. So what you need to do is get some oxygen into your beer. And one thing I do is I basically strain my wort right out of my kettle uh, through a really big strainer um, and let it just splash right through that and right down into a funnel. And that adds some oxygen. And then what I like to do is I like to take this and I like to put some manual labor into it. And it's another one of those things like I tell you guys about. Uh, it makes you feel closer to your beer. Uh, you're putting, you know, blood, sweat, tears, love into it and you're gonna produce something really nice when you're done. So let's get to shaking. Make sure you put a nice stopper in the end of your uh, container or else you might have a crazy mess. And you just shake the heck out of this thing. Oh yeah! And if you're making a larger batch, there's other tricks you can do. Uh, you can get, a, uh, it's called like a, a stone and you can basically pump air through that. Or even better, you can get a small tank of oxygen and use uh, that along with one of those little aeration stones and put real pure oxygen right into your brew. But I brewed uh, beers all the way up to like 11% and just did the shaking method. I've never had a single issue. And I think you only have to shake up to like a minute. I think that uh, gets pretty much about all the oxygen you're gonna get into the beer um, in that short period of time. So I'm gonna pitch the yeast go put it in its fermentation chamber, and I'm done for today. All right, don't forget, you don't have to have a million dollars, you don't have to be a hipster, and you don't have to have a beard, though the beard does help to make world-class beer in your kitchen.